Hey there, this is MathCamp321, bringing you a quick lesson on interval testing. Ignore the numbering off to the side, this is from another worksheet, but what I'm going to teach you here is how to take the solution to an algebraic inequality and express it using something called interval notation, which is commonly used in pre-calculus and particularly in calculus. So let's dive right in. Suppose we have in number 25 the algebraic inequality x is less than 5. We might denote that with a number line in the following way. So I'm going to put 5 on a number line. Uh, because it's less than and not less than or equal to, I'm going to use an open circle. And I'm going to shade to the left. That number line represents x is less than 5. In interval notation, what we would read this blue answer line from left to right. So the blue points all the way to the left, which is known as negative infinity. So I'm going to write negative infinity. And then the blue continues on until it gets to 5, and then it ends. And I'm going to use a parenthesis here. Had this been a closed circle, I would have used a bracket. But because it's open, I use parentheses. And if we read right here, here are the rules. You're going to use a parentheses, whether it's a front-end parentheses or a back-end parentheses, for infinity, for negative infinity, and for non-included boundaries. You're going to use brackets for included boundaries. Now the last thing we're going to do is set builder notation, which is what our Algebra 2 book uses in the back. It's a little bit cumbersome. It's, it's just like the algebraic inequality, but it's preceded with this x and then, a, and then a bar. So it looks like this. If you were to see this problem in the back of the book, it would look like x such that x is less than 5. Okay, let's take a look at another example. In number 26, we have x is greater than or equal to negative 3. So I'm going to start off with a number line. I'm going to plot negative 3. Now this time it's greater than or equal to, so I'm going to use a closed circle. And because it's greater than, I'm going to shade to the right. And now that it's time to write this with interval notation, I start looking for the blue from left to right. So there's no blue, there's no blue, there's no blue, and then the blue starts at negative 3. And it's an included boundary, so I'm going to use a bracket. And then it keeps going forever to the right, which is known as infinity. And infinities always use parentheses. So using set builder notation, like the back of our book, this would be a brace x such that x is greater than or equal to negative 3. OK, moving on to number 27, we have a compound inequality. x is between negative 4 and 4, and it's inclusive with the positive 4. So here's my number line. I'm going to put those two important points on it. They would be negative 4 and 4. It's going to be an open circle for the negative 4. And it's going to be a closed circle for the positive 4. And I'm supposed to shade everything in between. It's all those x's in between those two values. OK, now when I go to interval notation, I scan this blue line from left to right. And the, the, the blue line starts to live at negative 4. And it keeps going until we get to 4. And now we've got to decide on the notation. Because the left boundary is excluded, we're going to use parentheses. And the right boundary is included, so we're going to use brackets. Set builder notation. x such that. And it's essentially going to be a rewrite of what we have for our algebraic inequality. Negative 4 is less than x is less than or equal to positive 4. And then you end it with a brace. OK, number 28. Uh, another compound inequality. x is less than 2 or x is greater than 3. So let's get that number line written down. We've got negative 2 and we've got 3. I'm spilling a little bit into the other area, but I'm running out of space here. So x is less than negative 2. So this is going to be an open circle and shading to the left to indicate less than. Or x is greater than 3. It's going to look like that. So this is going to be our first occurrence of requiring two intervals because there are two pieces that are blue here. So for the leftmost piece, we're going to say negative infinity to negative 2, parentheses. Then I'm going to put a u for union. That means there's a little bit more. And then we're going to do another interval. And this is going to be from 3 to infinity. The infinities are a little bit tough to draw when you first start. So if, you're, if yours don't look amazing, then um, don't sweat it yet. That'll get better with time. The other issue is students have trouble with these braces that I'm using with the set builder notation. The braces can be tricky as well. That was not a good one. 
Uh, so this is going to be x such that x is less than negative 2 or x is greater than 3. Okay, in the subsequent questions, I scramble the order that I've given the, uh, the information to you in. So you've got to work backwards to figure out how to answer the other things. So what I'm going to suggest you do now is stop the video or press pause or whatever, do it on a piece of scrap paper or whatever, and then come back and uh, check your answer. Okay, so stop the video now and re resume it when you're done doing the questions yourself. Okay, number 29, they're giving us the set builder notation. And we talked about the fact that the set builder notation is essentially just a rewrite of the algebraic inequality. So I'm just going to go ahead and write x is between 0 and 10. Now having done that step, it essentially turns into one of the problems that we've been working on before. So I'm going to put the number line down. I'm going to put the two critical values, 0 and 10, on there. And I'm going to put 0 is going to be a closed circle. 10 is going to be an open circle. And I'm going to shade everything in between. And my interval is going to be 0, comma, 10. I want to keep the 0, but I don't want to keep the 10. So include gets bracket, exclude gets parenthesis. Okay, in number 30, they give us uh, the interval notation, and we've got to work backwards to get the other elements. So maybe I'll start with the number line. Okay, the critical value on this number line is going to be negative 6. And according to this uh, interval notation, it's going to be from negative 6 to infinity. Since if there's a parenthesis there, I know this is going to be an open circle, and I'm going to shade it to the right, the direction of positive infinity. Okay, and now I'm going to do my algebraic inequality. This is going to be x is greater than negative 6. And then, of course, the set builder notation is going to be x such that x is greater than negative 6. Two more to go and we're done. Okay, in number 31, they give us a they give us two intervals actually. Okay, so the critical values are four and five. Okay, the first interval or the first uh, line that I'm going to draw is from negative infinity to four. So that's going to look like this. And then the second piece is going to be from five, but it's going to be closed this time to infinity. Okay, so let's write this down. This is a this is going to be one of those or problems because there's two separate ones. The Two separate lines means or. So this is going to be x is less than 4 or x is greater than or equal to 5. And of course, the set builder notation will just be a repeat of that, x such that preceding it. So x such that x is less than 4 or x is greater than or equal to 5. Okay, our last one. They give us the number line here, and we have to go to the interval. So this is going to be negative infinity up to 7, and it's included. And the algebraic inequality would be x is less than or equal to 7. And the set builder notation will be x such that x is less than or equal to 7. So I hope this short video on the rules for interval testing have helped. We're going to be using this quite frequently for the duration of the Algebra 2 trig course. You'll see it again in pre-calculus, and you'll most definitely see it in calculus.